Hey, welcome to Pace Studio on the Road. We're live at Sweetwater Brewery in Atlanta right now with Christian Lopez. Christian Lopez, thank you for being here, man. Thanks for having me. This is a wonderful space. I'm happy to be here with you guys. Yeah. Yeah, man, your uh, voice and your guitar sound tremendous in this space. It's wonderful how well it's carrying and how well it's echoing and decaying in here. And um, I hope that you feel very powerful as you project your voice into the space. Well, that's nice of you to say. It is a nice buttery room. I feel like Steve, Steve Perry, <laughs> as they say. <laughs> we are about to uh, share a lot of your music with our audience right now. All the songs that you're about to play are from The Other Side, the new record that came out October 8th. Uh, what do you feel like doing first today? I'm going to do Who You Really Are. It goes like this. took the train All you wanted was to get away from yourself again And that's okay Cut it close, you're going far Every rose, every beautiful scar There's a story There's more to say Is it 
too much? Is it too much? Is it too much? Thank you, guys. All right. Thank you, Christian. Man, so uh, in, in this arrangement, clearly mm -hmm. you're playing all of the instruments. There is an instrument. It's you and your guitar. Uh, you're singing for us and you're playing for us. On the record, um, all, like 99% of the instrumentation is you on, on the other side. Um, can you talk a little bit about the decision, like how you arrived at that decision? Was it by necessity just because the entire world is messed up and you didn't have access to players? Or was it, did you decide, I want to push myself and see mm -hmm. if I can play every instrument on this album. Like, how did you arrive at that at that choice? Well, I guess it was a combination. It was a combination of, I guess, not having a huge network of players in that new city. I mean, uh, I had my drummer, Carl Thompson, who's the man. But uh, I really wanted to be that guy, you know, and take all that time in the studio and, uh, you know play everything and experiment and you know sit around and have fun and see what comes out and even if I think the piano solo on Finish What You Start is the worst in history but you know it's me it's character <laughs> you know so that's what I wanted and then secondly you know these songs were all written just me and the guitar you know so they they all started as songs that could work just solo so as far as the arrangements and building you know there's no limits as long as it can come back to just bare bones and still work that's how I want to want to roll and arrange my songs yeah yeah so yeah. we have full circled it from conception to how it is expressed on the record to playing it in this arrangement right now yeah. um what uh in terms uh was it, were there any particularly exotic instruments that you had to really really uh teach yourself how they worked or were you fairly well grounded in all of the instruments that you ended up playing on the record you know i'm trying to th i'm trying to think i didn't go too crazy on exotic, however, I did play the triangle for a full song on <laughs> Blows My Mind. And there's, tech, there's a whole technique to it, a whole thing, you know? You can't just go in there and tap away. There's a thing. So that probably was my biggest, uh, you know, expansion of my horizon when it comes to making, making it work with weird instruments. But it added, added so much. Nice. But I also, I feel like you can just go in there and tap away and it'll still turn out pretty good with the triangle. <laughs> it'll be, you know, artsy. That's for sure. <laughs> nice, man. Well, dude, thank you for coming here and sharing this music with us today. Uh, there's still three more to be shared off of the other side. What do you feel like doing the second today? This is actually the title track uh, and it's one that I wrote down uh, in the southern part of West Virginia. Um, it's called The Other Side. <laughs> Grab my bag and head to the woods, yeah Do something that I said I would, yeah I wanna meet the guy who can carry on in a world like this You gotta be strong, yeah Just wanna see if I survive Well, I wanna start a fire without a fire starter When you're looking through the trees, gotta look a little Free as a bird with my feet on the ground. Yeah, I wanna meet the guy who can carry on in a world this big that he calls home. Yeah, just wanna see if I survive. Well, you can run, but you can't hide. I'm damn still gonna try to find some peace of mind. sun is in my eyes But I'ma go to the woods and come out the other side well, I've been running a race 
said nobody can win Looking back cause there ain't no win, yeah I miss the days before I began And all the ways I didn't try to pretend That I met the guy who knew it was In a world like this you don't need too much Just a will to learn and the strength to survive Thank you, everyone. All right, thank you, Christian. Um, so you, you mentioned earlier when we were talking between the first and the second song about uh, having, not necessarily having, an ac having access to a network of musicians in a new place. So you moved from, was it West Virginia straight to LA, is that true? Well, I had uh, gone pretty much from Nashville kind of straight to LA, full on, uh, you know, developing uh, sort of all my musical roots in Nashville and going from there. But I started completely fresh in Los Angeles. Yeah, so that, I mean, the question is, like, which one of those, are there, um, do you feel like you are starting to uh, put down roots in Los Angeles, or which one of those communities do you feel most closely identified with or connected with, whether it's West Virginia, Nashville, or, um, or Los Angeles? Well, actually, now we just moved to New Mexico, too, so we can't decide <laughs> yet. But. I, musically, it's probably still Nashville. Very connected in Nashville. I love the Americana community. It's really the epicenter is Nashville, and uh, you know, I just spent so much time there that you know I've developed a, a nice uh, you know a nice uh, uh, thing there. But LA, yeah, I wasn't trying to make too many friends as it was. I was honestly trying to. Uh, kind of break away and, you know. I don't think anybody's in L.A. to make friends. Exactly, you know. <laughs> and the funny thing is I was, I was like 22 when I went and, um, you know, I, I linked up with some really good ones right off the bat and I was, I was lucky in that way. Um, but, you know, I think D.C. and Nashville still have a lot of my, as far as musicians that I pull upon, that's where they are. But West Virginia will always be home. So that's where West Virginia sits. That's uh, where I go to reconnect just and re-spark the old pilot light, you know, for what I'm doing. Um, Would it be fair yeah. to say that the, I mean, so your lovely fiance, Skylar, is here right now. She's just standing she over, over there, there to my right. Hey, Would that be fair to say that the community, I mean, that's, it's a traveling community of two, right? It's you guys that keep on, relocate from here to there to there, and now I've just found out moments ago that you're in New Mexico now. Yeah. Well, you know, whether we have the band with me or if it's just me, if it's, uh, you know, no matter what it is, it's, uh, it's her at my side, and I'm very lucky. Um, but at the same time, she's also a fantastic travel planner, books the hotels, books the flights, and uh, is just so damn yeah. good looking at the same time. It's <laughs> quite the package, so yeah, yeah we make it work. Tour manager extraordinaire. Well done, Skylar. <laughs> now, are you by any chance anywhere close to Meow Wolf? 
Is that a town in New Mexico? No, it's a, it's yeah. a venue, uh, which we can talk more about it offline, but it's like if a time travel experiment went bad, a bunch of the most creative people in the Southwest have created this venue called Meow Wolf that is just, it's very psychedelic, very strange. It's a multi-room venue. Get out. Just, it's the weirdest stuff. We will talk more about Meow Wolf. Oh my gosh, yeah, no, I feel yeah. out of yeah. the loop. <laughs> That's yeah, amazing. That is neither here nor there. What is here and here is your music. We're only halfway through right now. We're about to hear a third song off of the other side. Um, what do you feel like playing third today? This is a song off uh, the new album called Miss Me Too. It's one that I wrote with a great friend called Matthew Perryman Jones. And uh, it goes like this. For healing a broken heart Yeah, the world just keeps spinning Every end a new beginning A better start Well, I'm sorry if I Never gave a damn Like I do now What am I supposed to do? I'm still twisted up in you Yeah, I tried to shake it loose But I'm hanging on And I wonder if you dream Of the way it used to be If you ever think of me Like I think of you Do you miss me too? Trying to recover But you're seven easy numbers I don't want to know Well the days are getting longer I ain't getting any stronger Can't let it show Well I'm sorry if I Never gave a damn Like I do now What am I supposed to do I'm still twisted up in you yeah, I tried to shake it loose, but I'm hanging on And I wonder if you dream of the way it used to be And if you ever think of me like I think of you Do you miss me too? Still twisted up in you Yeah, I tried to shake it loose But I'm hanging on And I wonder if you dream Of the way it used to be And if you ever think of me Like I think of you Do you miss me too? Okay, okay, settle down, everyone. Goodness gracious, thank you. Yes, the crowd of six goes absolutely wild. I feel like, do you feel like the crowd of six sounds more like a crowd of 12? In a room like this, it almost, yeah, it sounds, it sounds doubled, I'd yeah. say. Or it's yeah. the chorus that he's doing in the mix, one of the two. Well, Kidding. we've got a good uh, audience on the other side of these lenses. There's a lot of people that are happy on this live stream. I mean, it's hard to envision that while we're doing this and you're staring straight into a camera. But absolutely. in addition to the six of us in this room, there's a lot of internet people happy. Representation. Yep. <laughs>
Indeed, man. Um, so the uh, the most recent record, the one that's out right now, the other mm -hmm. side, was uh, you collaborated with Robert Adam Stevenson on it as producer. Mm -hmm. um, and so the first one of yours out of the gate, so 18, I believe you were, and you are 26 right now. So yes. separated by eight years. The first one that you put out was uh, was produced by Dave Cobb, yes. which is, I mean, is one of the most recognizable names in producer land and probably one of the most busy guys there is. Can you compare and contrast, um, I'm not looking for dirt on anybody whatsoever, but like what that relationship looks like and when you collaborate with somebody like Dave and when you collaborate with somebody like Robert, who brings what to the table and what do those relationships look like? Because I mean, producer is such a nebulous concept and changes sure. so much from project to project. Mm -hmm. What do each bring to the table and what does it look like when you work with, with each in the studio? Well, Dave definitely um, was uh, a crazy first experience for me, you know, because we cut an EP of five songs when I was 18. Then that same year, we cut the full length album and we just went full, full throttle and he's so stylistic, you know, he has his ways he does things and he does not bend and he sticks to his magic. But it is the key to him doing what he does and it being so special. And uh, I learned so much that I use every single day in music and in life, honestly. It's very, uh, it was a very amazing experience working with him. But at the same time, uh, I worked with people like Marshall Altman on, on Red Arrow and Robert Adam Stevenson who are kind of in the similar ballpark because they, uh, they leave a lot of more room open uh, for me to, you know, experiment and, you know, sit down and work on one track for a long time and try different things on one thing here, a different thing here. Dave's very much like uh, the live show is in the studio and, uh, and I still think that has a ton of magic. It's just for these for these songs specifically, I wanted to hone in more on experimenting and uh, and uh, uh, with Robert Adam Stevenson. Yeah, you know, he's a Brit, you know, who's like hardcore computer guy. And uh, Robert so, Adam Stevenson is a pretty good British name. Man. Yes, I, got, yes. I don't know anything. About, I don't know much about the guy, but um, <laughs> he's from Oxford. Yeah. And, I had uh, imagined him as a British guy already. <laughs> but he makes it easy for me to sit down and, you know, take my time doing whatever the hell I want to do. Yeah. So um, that's really what this record was. And that's why I feel so soulful and satisfying. Does sure. that, do you feel like that tends to be Robert's production style to let an artist expand and breathe into the project? Or was that more a pandemic related thing where everybody had more time and you're able mm -hmm. to take that time? I think that's Robert's style. He's one of those guys who doesn't need an engineer. You know, he's producing and doing everything better than every other engineer in the house. Like he, um, so he's always about, you know, the nitty gritty and uh, we're able to really get into it together. And, uh, and uh, I, I think we're going to, keep working together here in the near future too. Good. Yeah. Good, man. Well, I'm glad that you have that um, collaborative partnership available to you and you guys met each other and it's working for you both. And uh, I'm enjoying the result very much. Thank you for putting this music out into the yeah, well, world. Thank you. And we're about to hear one more. Uh, what do you feel like doing fourth off of the other side? I'm gonna close here with uh, one that I call Finish What You Started. Just a working man Trying to wash away the day Oh, I just want to release some steam From the engine Just trying to fade out But you're stealing my attention It's hard to take it easy When you're looking at me that way You got gin in your glass In an ace up your sleeve Every minute that passes Makes it harder to leave Do you got the time? It's hard for me to stand the test that you won't stop a bottle like a bottle of wine in a dress made of satin I'm sitting in a sipping like a fool in my Monday best Oh, and I know I didn't want to take my chances Ain't never been no good at romancing This time I'm finally gonna get it right Well, I my eyes can't believe we're sitting Look as good as you are at the ceiling Come finish what you started on me Bugging hotter than night I got perfect day 
mean you got eyes like a pistol like a chin like the ring on a glass made of crystal if you drop me now I'm about to shatter on the floor oh you got me on my knees and it's so complicated I'm in love with the tease and boy I really hate it to seal the deal or I ain't coming back anymore Thank you, Christian, guys. Christian, thank you so, so much. And uh, thank you to Skyler, your wonderful tour manager, manager and fiancé extraordinaire. Uh, this has been a total pleasure for us. Dude. It's been thank a pleasure you for coming me. through. Thank you. And um, upcoming shows, I saw January 13th, you're at uh, the Dozy Do Big Barn in the Woodlands, Texas. We're in the Woodlands oh, yeah. Sweetwater right now, so you'll also be in the Woodlands uh, January 13th. Um, are there any upcoming tour dates that you're particularly uh, fired up about? Yes, yes, of course. Houston in the middle of January. But then um, my big sort of homecoming show uh, is in Northern Virginia at the Tally Ho Theater in Leesburg. And my uh, wonderful, amazing, talented friend, Jessica Lee Mayfield is opening that show. Yeah. Um, so it's gonna be a hell of a night. Um, and uh, should be a good one. The sound in there is great. So, Tally Home in Leesburg, December 17th. Wonderful. Well, please tell Jessica Lee Mayfield that all the Pace people said hello. And, uh, man, best of continued luck on the other side. And thank you for uh, spending your evening with us here tonight. It's been a pleasure. Thank, thank you guys. All, all you right, guys. All right, man. We'll see you next time. See ya. Good.